picked up the first one here on the dirty jig with a Grande Bass Mega Claws trailer. This is the bluegill imitation. It's like an Alabama crawl, whatever you want to call it, but it's orange and watermelon. Looks like a bluegill. Um, it's got the Okeechobee crawl Mega Claws on the back. Not a big bass. They're real tough. Had no top water bite at all this morning. Nothing. No top water bite at all. Uh, buzz baits, walking baits, poppers threw the frog into the best pads, the ones that weren't burnt to pieces by 95 and 100 degree weather with no rain. Picked the freshest, greenest pads near the deepest water, the deepest pads we had. There were two sections of them that weren't burned up. Worked them with the copper's frog, with a rage tail, couldn't, nothing, no activity. No, they wouldn't hit it sitting still, they wouldn't hit it moving fast, nothing. Got this one on the dirty jig now up by some marsh weeds. Uh, in, back one, in the back of one of a little cove off the main lake uh, in some shade. I've uh, been working at about two hours. That's the first bass that's even hit. No hits at all on any type of bait. So, through a swim jig, ran it in the deeper water, everything. Pocket crawl on the back of a dirty jig. So, uh, um, swim jig, California swim jig, nothing. They just won't hit a thing. Uh, it's like 95% humidity, they're calling for dangerous weather every day in the heat, uh, 100, 102, 105 degrees, bright high sun, high barometer. Um, I'm going to keep working all the docks and the shady areas and the marsh weeds, um, just throwing in the dirty jig, see if we can pick up a few more before it's time to go, and then I'm just going to get on out of here. Um, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not a tournament. and. Uh, the tournament on the Potomac isn't for two weeks, so I don't have anything to learn right now. So I'll work it for another couple hours and then just get out of here. I'll we'll see you guys in a minute. Well, there's the first nice one. I put on uh, the dirt, Dirty Jig's uh, Cal California Swim Jig, and uh, it's 100 degrees out right now. And uh, I caught three other ones, uh, throwing it up into the rocks and cover, swimming the jig out. and. Um, then I came back up in the here and uh, drank some more water. Heat was really getting to me, and I thought, well, I'll put this, throw it through the laydowns in here, see what happens. Swam it through, a uh, half ounce, dirty jigs, California swim jig with the, I put a Grandy Bass Mega Claws on the back. The other ones that I caught were only about a pound. I didn't film them. They were up shallow and brush on the rocks, like I said, back in a creek, but <clears throat> they did hit it, swimming it out. But uh, this one just hit just now. Now this is much better. It's not a giant by any means, but uh, you know, a much, much better bass. Uh, I've got to get out of here though. I'm going to get heat stroke. <laughs> and I'm going to regroup. Hopefully these temperatures will go down and I'll see you guys on the water on Sunday. Well, it's 10 o'clock, but it's just already, it's just too hot. It's about all I can take. I've caught uh, four, four bass. Um, you saw one small one early that I got uh, on the jig. That was actually just flipping the jig. The rest, of the bigger one that I got and the other uh, small ones, uh, they were all swimming the jig, uh, the dirty jigs, California uh, swim jig, half ounce with the Mega Claws trailer on the back and Okeechobee crawl. Um, when you swim that swim jig, if you haven't done it before, uh, a lot of times it's a different kind of a hit. Um, Sometimes it's just a little tick and it just swims away uh, after it bumps a branch or grass or rock, some other, some type of cover, it'll bump on it. Um, and then it's just a little tick and the line moves, just like a jig bite. Other times when they're a little more aggressive, they slam it, you know, like a spinner bait or a chatter bait, bang, they'll really hit it. Uh, today, 100 degrees plus, and it's been that way for a while. We had no rain, the water's real low. They weren't hitting it that way. Um, that last big one I caught, you couldn't even tell it was there, even though I was using that St. Croix Legend Elite. Just swimming it over a branch, then the lay down hits the branch, and then the line just went mushy. And uh, I, of course, knew that was a bigger fish because I felt that so many times. But if you're not you know, used to that, you haven't done it before, you could easily be fooled and miss that fish. So set the hook, and there he was. I worked some more lay downs down here in the shade, but uh, nothing else was hitting. Uh, back of the creek. So I'm going to get on out of here. Um, if the temperatures drop, I'll go out Sunday uh, with one of our site members, Jack Evans, and uh, give him another shot at uh, this. But uh, right now, it's a little too hot. 
spot and they try to night and stuff and really back off and uh, try getting out of about 1 a.m. and fish till 7, 8 o'clock in the morning to see if they actually are on that night bite now because it's so hot. So we'll check it all out. We'll let you guys know. We appreciate it if you stop in the forums and register. Uh, we've got a full pro staff to help you with anything you like. Tournaments, uh, shore fishing, ponds, lakes, rivers, uh, Potomac, Chesapeake Bay. We've done that for over 45 years. So just stop in there. Uh, give us a shout. Say hi. Uh, ask a question. We'll be glad to help you out. Uh, if you need tackle, we're affiliated with Tackle Warehouse. And right now we have uh, our faculty of fishing fishing courses on sonar. We have a specialty on deep uh, smallmouth, which is a great course. Um, We've got uh, all types of different specialty courses, advanced angler, uh, beginning anglers, everything you need. And right now it's 15% off. And if you just go in there and you click on the faculty of fishing and you put in the code TBC, that's the Bass College, 2011, TBC 2011. That's the Bass College 2011. That code will give you 15% off all the courses. And a lot of that's, these are certificate courses, so, um, and you also get free baits and things with the courses, and then if you send us the receipt when you're all done, we'll send you extra free baits, like groundy bass mega claws, and mutants, and crawls, or crank baits, different things like that. So, um, stop on in, uh, it's a great place to meet new friends, people will take you out on the water if you don't have a boat, help you with tournament tactics. We, we don't blank out the backs any pictures. We show you where we catch things. It's one of the few sites that do something like that. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So we'll look forward to seeing you guys down on the water. This is Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College. I'll see you next time. Some shallow, I can catch some deep.